This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update for October 14th, just after noontime. Here's the herd track program showing the current position of Tropical Storm Raphael. And let's go ahead and put this in motion and see what's going to happen here as the evening moves on. We're getting into 7 p.m. this evening, and then we get around 8, 9, 10 p.m. You'll notice that the highest winds are going to be approaching the Virgin Islands around St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John. The current feature at Hurricane City is St. John because that's the little island right here uh, just east of St. Thomas and we feel that that area might get the highest winds along with St. Martin over here as the system moves off to the north. Uh, but it looks like at this point Puerto Rico should be spared the highest winds because this is a lopsided system and all the convection is off to the east of the center of circulation over here. So all the uh, northern Leeward Islands uh, including St. Martin, St. Croix, St. John, St. Thomas should get the highest winds with Puerto Rico getting less winds but maybe a little bit of rain over here, a few inches of rain for Puerto Rico but the worst of it should pass just to the east as it moves off to the north. And then you'll see we continue in motion here and the system pulls away in the early morning hours on Sunday and then heads generally in the direction of Bermuda and then we'll do another update video in a few days uh, to indicate what might happen in Bermuda. Some models indicate it will go east of Bermuda, some west some think it'll be it's just a tropical storm. Others, like such, such as the GFDL and the uh, h wharf indicate we could see a Category 1 or even a, possibly a Category 2 hurricane affect Bermuda on Tuesday. So we'll talk more about that in the future. All right, here's the water vapor loop of the Atlantic Basin. And what's, what's happening here with our system? Well, we have a stretched out um, upper level low, which is right here. Uh, near Puerto Rico, just northwest of the center of circulation of Rafael, and this wind is uh, from this upper level low is causing southwesterly wind shear around 20 to 30 knots near the center of Rafael, and this is why the system is slow to get its act together. It's really been a rather disorganized system the entire time, even when it was east of the Windward Islands down here, but it should probably begin to consolidate and get a little bit better organized once it gets in the Virgin Islands or around there and then pulls away, then it should start to get its act together. Because at that time it would be heading a little bit more northwest and uh, then it will get caught up in the troughs that are coming across the U.S. here and then it should start to turn off to the northeast. Once the system begins to move along in direction with the shell, with the shear versus heading into the shear, the system should begin to get a little bit better organized. But right now it's just a not, not a very good environment for strengthening. Uh, as it's uh, southeast of Puerto Rico. It's good news for the people of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. You're going to get some windy, gusty rains uh, going into the evening, but nothing to be fearful of. Just get your loose objects inside and make sure that you have everything secured that could fly around in the wind out there. Here is the close-up visible floater loop of Raphael. And you can see that the circulation is trying to consolidate a little bit better here, but it continues to struggle. Again, you can see this upper level low swirling over here. And the center of circulation of Raphael is right there in that red circle. And the system is going to, again, slowly move off to the northwest, clipping the Virgin Islands here and then continuing northwest, maybe bending a little bit more to the northwest before getting caught up in a trough and heading off to the northeast. But uh, not a very well-organized system as tropical storms go. Right, here is what the situation is in the entire Atlantic Basin. That, that's basically the only game going on right now is Raphael here in the eastern Caribbean Sea. We have the former remnants of Patty in the Bahamas. The uh, remnant low is going to drift off to the southwest. Really nothing to worry about with Tropical Storm Patty. That system is done. The long-range models don't really indicate that that's going to regenerate. So all eyes are on Raphael for the most part. Here is a radar from the National Weather Service indicating heavy rains in the northern Leeward Islands around St. Croix. I mean, uh, St. St. Martin, rather, over here. There's heavier rains over here and then lighter Northeasterly winds bringing in some of these lighter showers, uh, pop popcorn type showers, I like to call them, into Puerto Rico. But the real heaviest rain should remain in this general area as it moves off to the north. Here's the wind shear going out 36 hours. This is important. Right about at this point in 36 hours, Rafael should be up here well east of the Bahamas and beginning to make its turn off to the northeast. And you notice that the wind shear here shows around 25 to 30 knots of southwesterly wind shear. And even though the GFDL and the, and the H wharf indicate this could become a hurricane near, Puerto R near Bermuda, rather, I'm not really that concerned about this ramping up to any 
great strength because of the wind shear. Even though it'll be traveling in tandem with the wind shear, I just don't see this really ramping up that strong. Maybe it might reach Category 1, but I'm still thinking maybe strong tropical storm low in Category 1 as it passes near or just east of Bermuda. The official forecast from the Hurricane Center keeps it just east of Bermuda because they're uh, biting on the GFS modeling, which has been the best performer all year long, and their GFS is indicating just east of Bermuda, and it could be near a hurricane at that point. Here's the mean monster head of the whole Atlantic Basin, and we have the steering flow showing that the gap is right in between monster heads, two high-pressure ridges out here, and that's generally what's going to steer Raphael off to the north-northwest and then eventually get carried off to the northeast uh, in response to a trough. But whenever you have a big monster head out here like that, I like to call it a monster head, here's the mouth and the two eyeballs, that's going to shoot the system directly due north, and that's exactly what's happening with Raphael. Here's our close-up map of where we expect this to be on Saturday evening. We're going into the afternoon, and then by tomorrow morning, around 2 a.m., it should be in the Virgin Islands, passing through the Virgin Islands as around a 50-mile-per-hour tropical storm, gust to 63, and then the system will clear the Virgin Islands and head off to the north. Here are the intensity models from the Weather Underground. We see the GFDL and the h Wharf tropical models have this reaching a strong Category 1 hurricane right here when it's up near Bermuda. In about 72 hours, the other models, uh, such as the IVCN and the ship's model, keep this as a strong tropical storm near Bermuda, so it'll be interesting to see which, which plays out in this scenario with the, with the wind shear out there. All right, let me switch sources. I want to show you a real neat webcam. Again, our current feature is the island of St. John in the Virgin Islands, and there's a live cam shot. That is a live shot from St. John, the island of St. John, and this can be found by clicking St. John uh, next to the tracking chart at Hurricane City, and you'll get all your options. you get local weather, cams, radio stations from the affected area, radars, power outage situation, emergency management maps, everything you'd want to know. In fact, the last time this area was affected was last year by Tropical Storm Irene as it was passing off to the south, which later Irene would become a big story for the United States, but it did pass just south of St. John last year. So that's the last time this island was affected. Keep track of this cam as this passes through this evening. That's about it. We wish the people the best of luck in the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Uh, keep an eye out for some gust, strong gusty winds. Bring in your loose objects. And, but this should not be a big deal for you. You might have sporadic power outages here and there, but overall this should not be a big deal. Move north. Bermuda, you got to watch this real closely over the next few days. I'll be back in about 24 to 36 hours with an update on Raphael. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.